say if they want to avoid lawsuits from parents. Reporter Kerry Sheridan from our sister station, WUSF in Tampa, spoke with Andrew Sparr, president of the Florida Education Association, about how the state's largest teachers union is trying to help its members navigate the new terrain. What we're telling our teachers first and foremost is they have an obligation, they have an ethical and moral obligation here in the state of Florida to make sure that every kid is welcomed, is safe, is secure, is loved, is supported, and is getting the education they deserve and need. And they should absolutely continue to do that. Nothing changes in that sense. These laws are meant to create confusion, are meant to create chaos, and they are doing that. Uh, but overwhelmingly, parents see these laws as distractions away from what matters, and we should focus on what matters, which is our kids. I talked to a history teacher who's concerned about the removal of key parts of history from next year's civic standards, like landmark cases like Roe v. Wade and Texas v. Johnson, a case that established that flag burning is a protected form of speech. Uh, these things won't be in the standards in 2023-24. Does that mean you can't teach it if it's not there? You know, are you facing questions like that from teachers? Yeah, I think there's a lot of concern as it relates to the rewrite of the civics and social studies standards, what's being left out, the whitewashing of our history. We've heard from people who say, you know, they talk about how Washington and Jefferson were opposed to slavery without talking about, but they owned slaves. You know, those are the kinds of concerns and questions, yes, we're absolutely getting from our members. And, you know, I think what we have to realize is that right now what we should be doing as a community, as people who support public schools, is we should be talking to everyone running for office, whether it's school board, whether it's state house, state senate, the governor's mansion. And we should ask them, what are they doing right now to address the massive teacher and staff shortage? Why? Because the teacher and staff shortage is the greatest threat to the education of our children. If we don't have bus drivers to get kids to school on time, kids are missing out on the education they deserve and need. If we don't have teachers in the classroom, and we currently have between six and 8,000 teacher vacancies in the state of Florida, if we don't fill those teaching positions, kids are missing out on the education they deserve and need. And since the parental rights law spells out that parents can take legal action for any perceived violation of the law, some teachers are worried about facing those kinds of lawsuits and would, would they have to pay their own legal fees? If they're a member of the union, no. If they're a member of the union, we would be there for them and we will have our members' backs. Um, there's no question about that. Uh, our national unions have already said it, we have said it. Um, you know, if our members are teaching kids the content that they are required to cover, which they're obligated to cover under the code of ethics here in the state of Florida, we will have their back. And there are court challenges going on right now over a lot of what the state of Florida is trying to implement. And keep in mind, some of those court challenges are outside of public education because some of this legislation not only impacts our public schools, it impacts private workplaces, right? Like Disney and other companies who operate in the state of Florida. And so there's a lot of court cases out there right now. And I think some of this, as it moves through the court, is going to create and allow for some more clarity around all of this. But I think rightfully so, a lot of educators are concerned with the direction that our state is going in essentially trying to rewrite history. And do you have any teachers who are, you know, in support of these laws or who are okay with all of these changes? Yeah, I'm sure there are, right? I mean, at the end of the day, there are people who are buying some of this extremist conversation that's happening. They may think it's not happening. They know it's not happening in their classroom, but they'll say it may be happening somewhere else. But the reality of it is all of this legislation was based on lies, was based on false pretense, and was done for political purposes. And at the end of the day, what we hear from parents, what we hear from almost all of our members, is politics has no place in the decisions being made in our public schools. That was Florida Education Association President Andrew Sparr speaking with WUSF's Kerry Sheridan. This is WLRN News.